Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're going to talk about yellowfin tuna catching, um, but on the top water. You see, we were out in Venice, Louisiana, catching yellowfin tuna, having a great time, first trip out to the Gulf in that part of Louisiana fishing. And what was interesting was we were fishing mostly with live bait. And we were drifting these live baits back in the current, catching fish, it was working great. But the captain said, hey, you know, while we're drifting these back and waiting for a bite, he's got a big heavy spinner, like a pin, I think 10,500 uh, spin fisher V or battle or something, big old heavy spinner rod with braid and a top shot of mono. And he's like, I got a plug on it. You can cast this out the front and just work it on top, popping it on top, see if you can catch a fish. And it's crazy because we're seeing fish bust all over. There's just a lot of activity. So my dad starts doing that. He's tossing it and just working it. Uh, we catch fish, you know, on the drift on live bait. But while he's working it, bam, he gets a fish on. My dad was throwing the jig. He got something good on. We caught a skipjack earlier on this, this rod and this jig and, and this fish is doing a lot more than that so looks like a big one. This thing ain't stopped running yet. That was a good one. Man. It's crazy this fish hits this lure and man it is just it is running it took a lot of line and it's pulling good. I didn't know what to expect you know is this gonna be a big tuna you know did some other fish hit it amberjack shark and you know, what's in the area I, not fishing, I just don't know. Right, someone just busted over there. Oh, yeah. This'll be good, Dad. That's not a skip down. What's that? <laughs> That's a skip down. That's gotta be a monster. You gained any? Yeah, finally. Coming up fast. Coming up fast. Yeah, I think something cut him. Yeah, cut him off. No, I mean, it's part of him there, but. He came on it really fast, did you see him? Yeah. <laughs> I think he still got the motor on. Did they catch toad fish out here? <laughs> Chris, Christian had to tag out with me. I went down. He fights this fish for like 30 minutes. He actually tags out with Christian from Spinning Ballyhoo. Hey guys, I've only got so much uh, battery. Can y'all uh, catch, catch this fish up now? <laughs> and bring him in and Yeah, I'm gonna say, Dad. Think it's a tuna? Yes. Finally, we get it up to the boat, and it's a nice tuna. Oh, we got color. There you go. Dang, look at that. You talking about the fish or my dad? Both. <laughs> Nice. There you go. Look at that. Pretty little bait. I think that's definitely uh, the big one of the day. It's actually the biggest tuna of the trip. We weighed it. It was 77 pounds. All right, Dad. All I gotta say is it was a team effort, and I'm done for today. <laughs> no more yellow for this guy. You're good. Good job, man. It's not yet named though. We still got a lot of. A lot of fish to catch. We got a lot of fish to catch. I'm gonna be a sweet observer at this point. Pretty neat. It's kind of like a bonus method, you know. We got a bunch of guys on the boat. The captain and the mate are doing their thing. So you know, if you get a chance to throw it, by all means throw it. I mean, maybe you don't catch nothing, but 
if you do, it's kind of like bonus, right? You know, you've got different things, different methods going on. It's just more opportunity to catch fish. Uh, I had one captain once tell me, luck is when opportunity meets preparation. So, you know, can't f catch fish if your line's not out there. Yeah, he then gave me the rod. I was like, hey, you wanna try? I was like, sure. So I'm, I'm casting, just popping it. Boom, I catch a, a skipjack too. That's a skipjack. We're going to skip it. Of course, we did have a little incident where, um, you know, my dad got a hook in his finger when he was trying to grab the tuna to take the hook out. So definitely be very careful around hooks. It's not the first time this has happened to us. It's not the first time we've got this on video. I, I will say one thing, your hooks are short. Second day, we get back out there, and uh, I was like, hey, I'm just going to keep working that plug, get to our third spot, and uh, it was slow up until then, but we were catching fish, and he starts throwing it, and uh, once you know it, bang, he, he hooks up to another yellowfin tuna. It's funny, because he had the hook in it the day before, and we had to cut the hook to get it out of his hand, so that, that uh, lure only had one hook in it, but my dad was working it, and he got right up to the boat, and a tuna just came out of the water and slammed it it's kind of getting some b-roll so i don't know if i got the shot real good but it was crazy it just busted it right there by the boat so really exciting i mean you can throw these lures and you just get some really spectacular action and it's funny because I, I was looking at the lure and so was the mate and I'm, I'm thinking in my head like man this lure doesn't look so good anymore I mean, we've caught some fish on it it's missing a hook it almost looked like it was kind of helicoptering in the water and then right, you know, as I'm thinking, the, the mate's like, man, that lure looks pretty bad. Let me get you like a different popping lure. So he's coming up with the lure about switching out. And right as my dad almost gets it to the boat, that's when he catches a fish. So fish on! even though we thought the lure looked pretty bad, I guess the fish still liked it because uh, we get hooked up. He uh, has the fish on, hands it off to me and uh, fight our another yellowfin tuna in the boat. I don't have color. <laughs> Yeah. All right. My dad's, I guess, the, the spinning guru. Cause this is the second one he's, well, more than the second one he's hooked on this, this plug. And this is after we, re we removed one hook from the lure because it got in his hand. <laughs> nice lip gaff him. What's the deal, Dad? What are you What are you doing to make this work? I'm I'm twitch, twitch, and pause. That's how you get them. Twitch, twitch, and pause. Because it was so easy. I'm not getting in my ear. Because it's so easy, we took one hook off to make it a little more challenging. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna see what you're doing. I always mark the spot on the boat. Because we go back to that spot every time, you know. So that's the method. Like I said, I, I jerk and, and pause, jerk and pause, and it kind of yeah. got that little thing. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I don't get it either. That thing looks like it's spinning like a helicopter. Oh, yeah. Like, why would a fish eat that? Well, even, even the uh, fish were thinking that can't be artificial, not that it's screwed up as it is. Yeah, it's <laughs> injured one of them. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys get a chance, you know, and you're out there, uh, definitely have that pop and plug ready. And it doesn't just apply to yellowfin tuna. I mean, obviously out there it works, but, you know, have that lure ready wherever you're fishing offshore. It could be in the Keys, you know, South Florida and North Florida, anywhere offshore. You know, you never know when you come up to a school of, you know, tuna, blackfin, mahi, something like that, or even inshore, you know, you might come across like cobia, free swimming, um, Spanish mackerel, whatever, you know, just have that kind of ready and you might come across some really good opportunities and catch fish that normally you might not have been able to catch just by being ready.
You'll see him splashing close to the boat, mixing it up between, I mean, they're throwing the live baits off the back and drifting it, and he's throwing a topwater off, off the front, kind of like a bonus way to catch them, you know, gives you something to do and catches fish, kind of an alternate method, and just kind of, I guess, doesn't put all your eggs in one basket, so um, it's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, learned some things. If you have experience, you know, catching tuna or any fish offshore on top water, you know, if you got any suggestions or tips, we'd like to learn too and kind of spread the information, feel free to comment below. If you guys have any other questions about uh, our trip to Venice, Louisiana, or yellowfin tuna or any fishing things in general, just comment below. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.